For almost as long as there have been horror movies, there has been the final girl. A long-lasting staple of the genre, the term final girl was first coined by Professor Carol J. Clover in her book Men, Women, and Chainsaws. According to Clover, the final girl is usually the sole survivor who later gets the ultimate showdown with the villain. However, the understanding of the final girl as a pure, innocent, good girl has evolved and changed within the last 50 years of horror. Though the trope of the final girl remains, the way she is depicted in horror is often more of a reflection on the era in which she appears. <music> 1960s Lila Crane, Psycho Lila travels to the Bates Motel to investigate the whereabouts of her missing sister Marion. Critics argue whether or not she fits the final girl mold since she's ultimately rescued by a male character at the end of the film. But it was the 1960s, so we'll give him that one. 1970s Sally Hardesty, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre One of the earliest examples of the final girl, Sally narrowly escapes death at the hands of a chainsaw-wielding Leatherface and his cannibal fam. The iconic final shot of the film would establish Marilyn Burns as a scream queen in horror film history. <laughs> Laurie Strode Halloween 2. Although Jamie Lee Curtis originally appeared in 1978's Halloween as Laurie Strode, her legacy as a screen queen wasn't solidified until the 80s. With other films like Prom Night, The Fog, and Terror Train, Curtis became one of the most famous actresses in horror. <laughs> Fake fact, her vocal cords are insured for a million dollars. 1990s, Sydney Prescott, Scream. The final girl evolved even further when Nev Campbell starred in 1996's Scream. Sydney was one of the first final girls to survive after having sex, can you imagine? Paving the way for a whole new interpretation of a classic horror trope. Can I always have things for you, Sid? Oh! 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 In your dreams. 2000s, Sarah, The Descent. Sarah best represents the adaptation of the final girl. She's forced to become like what's hunting her in order to survive. Sarah is a bit less noble than her final girl predecessors and even more complex as a result. <laughs> Aaron, you're next. Aaron's survivalist background is what helps her keep her cool when she's attacked by a group of killers for hire wearing animal masks. Not only does Aaron fight back, but she gets the upper hand on her attackers. Aaron is proof that the final girl is more capable of taking her survival into her own hands now than she ever has been before. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the final, 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 final showdown with Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael is going to look like in this year's Halloween. Let us know who your favorite final girl is in the comments and click subscribe if you like what you watched.